everyone. It must be Wednesday, because here I am, SD Nets. Um, <laughs> I've recorded this twice before, and it didn't take. Oh, my God. It's one of those days when the machines are fighting back. This is August 3rd, and episode 24. Um, we have three new members. H.B. Rodney, Flo Frazier, and Jay's Knit and Pearl Jam. What a sweet person she is. She wrote me a lovely note, and I really appreciate it. She's a nice lady. And, and I got to see her picture, so I know what she looks like. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. All right. Did she have a good week? Oh, I did. Yes, I, I was working my hands off. <laughs> Making winter clothes, of all things. Here it is so hot. But I made quite a few things. And one of the best things was I finished that blanket. But you know what? First I want to tell you. I got a package. I got a package from Janice Staniforth. Our member in uh, Derbyshire in England. She lives in Chesterfield, Derbyshire, England. Isn't that nice? I looked it up on the computer. It's beautiful. Like pastoral place. It's beautiful. I wonder if they have sheep out there. I don't know. It's very country, you know. It's very pretty. And um, cute little town. Towns that, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I liked it. All right. Let me show you what she sent. This was my lucky day. Oh. This stuff's all over the place because I've recorded this twice before and it just didn't record. Even though I can see the numbers going. Oh well. Look what Jenna sent me, this beautiful thing. I think she made this. Or if she didn't, who cares? It, it's a beautiful little bag for my projects or for going out. And it has this little flowered purse in there. Is that pretty? It's connected so I don't lose it. I could put notions in there, and I could put my yarn in my project. Oh, that is so pretty. Janice is gorgeous. I can't believe it. Why did you send me such a lovely present? Oh, my word. And then, this. A beautiful shawl for summer. And it has these darling pom-pom things on it. They're like flowers. They're flowers. Oh, that's so pretty. She's a crocheter, obviously. It's beautiful. Isn't that nice? They're mesh, so they can wear them in the summer. Oh, Janice, you are so thoughtful. You think of everything. It is so cute. It has a pretty edging on it. I like that edging. <laughs> kitty. <laughs> All the times I record, Kitty gets the pom-poms on this thing. She goes up they're too dangly to resist. See how dangly they are? Yeah, she loves it. Well, you can't touch my shawl. Cat claws are deadly to shawls. And this is my favorite. Oh, Janice, if you knew how much I love this. This is just gorgeous blue. It's like a powder blue. And it's cotton. Isn't it beautiful? It must, it's not my birthday. She's just so sweet and lovely. Oh, I just love it. Look at the cute little edging. Pico. That is so darling. It's such perfect crochet. I'm, I'm a really big novice crocheter. I could never make this. This mine's all uneven and each stitch would look different than the other one. That's so pretty. I just love it. It's got like like a cobweb, like a spider web. Oh, I just adore it. I'm going to leave it on because it's not, it's not a warm shawl. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, I love it. It's big. That is so lovely. Wow. It's so fun to get a gift. I asked her for a hedgehog, but obviously she couldn't get it in the package. I noticed um, 
the package went to uh, it went from England to Los Angeles, and then it went to Las Vegas, where it gambled probably. Had a whooping time, but I'll never know because they don't tell in Vegas, you know, but it stays in Vegas. Then it came up here, across the street, just right across the street is our post office, and it went over there. Then they sent me a letter after all that and said, or not a letter, um, an email. Oh, it's too complicated. Anyway, I got a notice that it wasn't deliverable and it was going to be sent back to England. <laughs> it was across the street, but it wasn't deliverable. So I went over there, went to the post office. It's about a two-minute car drive, at least maybe one-minute car drive. It's just across the street, down the hill and across the street. And I went in there and, and I, I printed out the thing from the computer and showed us, I'd like to get this package, please. It was undeliverable. And she wouldn't give it to me. Just handed it to me. It was sitting right there. I don't understand them. They deliver things to me every day of the week, except Sunday. Why couldn't they deliver that? I got it. Okay, enough of that. Let me put my gift back. Did I show you the shawl pin, too? I didn't. I showed it on the other... T Look, isn't that gorgeous? Now, let's see. How does that work? Well, obviously, I'm not smart enough for this shawl pin. Well, maybe it's like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? Oh... That is gorgeous. My husband's going out to Hot August Nights tonight, which is an event here in Reno. He's going to see all the old cars from the 50s, the vintage cars and everything. If I was going, which I'm not, uh, I would wear this. I don't think I want to go see cars. I'm so tired of the 50s. I don't know about you. They weren't that much fun. I mean, crime and nitly. How many times do we have to relive it with our poodle skirts and our old cars, you know? I'm not interested. They have that every year up here, hot August nights. So I don't like to go out in the hot August night. I like to stay in. So did I show you? No. All right. I mean, but... So I finished the baby blanket. That was the biggest uh, accomplishment. Big 40 by 38 baby blanket. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's just acrylic. It's just uh, Karen, simply soft. Um, it's heavy. I don't get that much of it. I don't keep the baby warm in the winter. And then I started a new one. That one just no pattern. Just double, uh, half doubles in America, half triples maybe in England. Just simple. But this one has a little pattern to it. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this pattern before. It's a free one, uh, a free red heart pattern. And this is the cutest bat cheek baby. But this is so pretty. But I don't have, you know, these colors. And the Indian Reservation asks that we don't send them white things. It's too hard to keep clean. They don't have washing machines. They use their sink or bucket or something to wash clothes. So uh, I can't use white. So... I just got all my very, you know, I just all my scraps and partial balls and stuff, and I'll just make a colorful um, ripple blanket, I suppose you call this. And it's much smaller than the other one. This, I, I don't, those other big ones are murder. No, this is probably 27, 28 inches across. This would be a, just a nice little receiving blanket type thing. It's fun. I didn't know if I could do this pattern. I'm like I said, I'm a very novice crocheter, but I just tried it. I followed completely, you know, carefully, slowly read it, and I could do it. I could do it. So I'm very happy with that. Another long baby blanket project, but you gotta have them for the Indians. Those little tykes get cold. Now the stuff I made. Oh, I had a great time. Making hats. Where are all of them? Hmm. 
Where did I put all my patterns? Oh, here we are. All right. I'll tell you about the urchin first. I told you about this last week. How I was making urchin. And I was afraid it would be too small. And it is kind of small. But after I blocked it, it grew. So it's not overly small. But it's it's not really a practical hat. It's not for uh, it's just a little thing. So <laughs> everywhere I put it, it looks goofy. I think my head is goofy. Okay, well, it's just a little cute thing. It was fun to make, cute fun pattern. I won't make it again. It's not practical, but it was fun. It's just a beret. See, it's got the little beret shape. Just a beret, very cute. And the other one, that's urchin. Now the other one is Thorpe. Thorpe is a nice hat. Um, I didn't make the braids. I'll, I'm gonna make this hat again and I will make the braids. So I used the same yarn. It's a real multicolored, uh, not multicolored. It's red and white and black. Black and white, but it's, you know, mottled or speckled. I thought this was cute. I put orange around this uh, edges and brighten it up a little bit. The yarn is just um, a little bit chintzy. It's it's not really thick. Um, it's a little warm on my head, but not the way I'll need it in December, January. But it's pretty. So that was, those were my, uh, starting out things, my, you know, preliminaries. My real success was Astrid. It's called Astrid. It is a cowl and hat set by Drops. Now Drops makes free patterns. It came from Ravelry. And it was so simple. I'll see you later. Bye. The Off he goes to the hot August nights. Okay. You want to go out and eat, huh? No. There's a big dog All right, I'm going to try it on for you. So I'll remove my pretty shawl. Oh, be careful. I just love this shawl. Oh, my God, I'm going to wear it all the time. All the time. Oh, my hands are bleeding. Now, here's the cowl. You make it in one long strip. One long strip, 27 inches long. And a simple pattern of... Uh, knit pearl knit on one side and then on the back side you pearl because it's flat it's not in the round and it's cute it has this little point I like that little point I'll show you here see it's it's got a nice shape on it almost like those bandana ones that's what it looks like one of those bandana cowls cowl boy I like that. It was, and then the hat goes with it. Only this is made in the round. So it's knit pearl, knit pearl, one row of that, and then the next row is knit. Until you get to seven and a half inches, and then you do their decrease in stockinette at the top. So it was really simple. This is what you call winter clothes. This is bulky merino wool from Malabrigo. In the what color is that? Ochre, Frank Ochre. I don't know why Frank Ochre, but that's what it is. So it's really warm. And see, it's a slouch. It's really warm and soft and good, and this will keep me warm in the winter. This I'll wear with my black coat. It'll be nice. My husband's favorite color. My theory is, even if I get overweight or old, if I wear yellow. He thinks I look pretty, because that's his favorite color. I got him figured out. All right, but I'm taking these off. It's so hot. They even tell, say, if you're over 65, don't go outside. They say it, it's so hot, and the air isn't good, because you'll have uh, wildfires burning. And, and uh, even though it's miles away in California, the smoke comes up to Nevada and settles in Washoe Valley, which is where we live. Washoe Valley. It catches all the smoke from 
anywhere around here, miles around. The Earth really is more connected than I ever thought when I was younger. It was like a four hour drive, five hour drive to the fire, and yet the same day we get the smoke of it in here, and it makes the air just unbreathable, and all, hey, you can't see the mountains, it's all hazy. Here, excuse me, we'll have a little drink. Mmm. I'm having a tea vanna from Starbucks. It is a berry sangria, lemonade, herbal tea. That's a lot of things. And it's got berries, blackberries, and orange pieces oh. floating on top. So it's delicious. It does taste like sangria, only no alcohol. Yellow. Mm, it's delicious. I love it. I think that's all for today. What an exciting day. All right, I will see you next Wednesday, and I'll be glad to see you. One more tip, one more thing I want to say. Um, our friend uh, Carola Rothar in Germany is going on a vacation to Italy. She's been working long, hard hours, uh, building up time so she can take a vacation. She's going to spend, I don't know, 10 days or 3 weeks, I don't know, a long time in Italy with her whole family in a spa. Isn't that marvelous? And then from there, they're going to England for three days. The most marvelous vacation I've ever heard of. I hope you have a good time, Corolla. Ta-ta!